Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. We are Zemyaza Healing Core Toet, Temple of Elite Truth and Trust. And I am Minister Zazazo. It's obvious I rub people the wrong way as the alchemist master bloodline witch that I am, you know, and I'm overstanding that I make people feel uncomfortable sometime being a woman and speaking about the topics that I speak about. But as a high priestess, as an ancient one, as an ancestor right now, I am shocked that TikTok is affirming that I am a triple threat on some real shit. I am a triple threat because yet again, TikTok shocks the hell out of me on some real shit. But I get it. I get it. I'm a very strong black woman. I get it. I say what's on my mind. I get it. I'm a woman, you know, who aspires to have a husband and a wife. I get it. I should say spiritual union. I get it. But it saddens me to say I told you so, you guys. And now I've come to a point where TikTok has completely banned me from going live. They said, They said I had too many community violations. And the last violation was because someone reported me haphazardly. But I guess when my bot went into the automatic fair hearing process to see if it was going to be rescinded, that was a fucking no-go. But you know what this I told you so, motherfuckers. They out for my blood. Don't let the numbers fool you, okay? I am a indigenous teacher of a minister of a faith-based, non-denominational ministry. I'm building a healing location for not only my Indian ancient soul tribe connections, but also my clients as a working high priestess, shadow healer, and teacher. So I'm just going to have to start all over again. If you would like, can you please take a moment before you go through the rest of your day and sign up here at Zemyaza Healing Core Toet. We must start all over again because the hating ass TikTok discriminatory algorithm of the fair hearing has violated me. You guys, all my videos are posted on all of our sister and brother channels on YouTube, which is Zemyaza Healing Core, Dark Goddess 99, Soul Healer Therapist, and our nonprofit organization, Mama's Family Circle, where we bring in underprivileged Jews into country settings for a weekend night. You guys, they have banned me from doing videos on this channel. So please sign up with us here at Toet, right down there. Right down there for our twist sister station, for our sister station. I don't believe they violated me, you guys. Anyway, can you please help Zemyaza Healing Corps yet again reach a thousand? Because the first meeting I'm having in Minister Zaza Zo page. Right down there, just click down below right there. Um, I am going to have my first building meeting for our new group. 
at our organization, which is bringing together a beautiful rainbow collective of indigenous Indians. For all of you guys who don't know, I am Ojibwe and also Creek tribe. Um, I've also worked with the Cherokee. Like I said before, that's the first story I'm gonna share within our live setting, which is reaching out to my Native American indigenous reconnectives. Again, I am Minister Zazazel of Zemyaza Healing Core, Temple of Elite, Trust and Truth. Okay, I'm really saddened by this news I have to share with my soul tribe, but we have plenty syndicates trying to stop the growth and the building of bringing our people together but they will surely learn with time and due diligence that there are just some matriarchs who don't really pay attention as much as they should. But what this situation has shared with me, my family, is that I need to reassess everything yet again in my life. I have family just turning their back on me. I have people coming into my life and then violating me to get shut down for the most idiotic reason. Negative people who don't like the projects I'm in or the groups that I lead. It's, it's not something that I am forced to do. It's something that I enjoy doing even on the bad days. So, as I move forward on this, oh shit, Lion Gate. I don't believe they shut me down and on Lion Gate. I'm supposed to be live right now. The, yo, the shade is real, you guys. For us matriarchic women, the shade is real. For the woman who swears up and down, oh, I'm going to help you, I'm going to help you. And this is coming from masculine and feminine. I'm going to help you, I'm going to help you. But when panties don't drop or when the matrix gets you caught up, you forget about etheric connections and promises and due diligent due process. To all you haters out there, Zaza is never going to tell these sleeping zombies who the fuck they are and where the fuck they come from. And I will continue, continue to give the information no matter how many times you guys, they try to shut me down. I don't even have followers like that on some old real shit, but I promise to all my zoes, all my souls, I will continue giving this information to the Tri Nations and they will not stop us here at Zemyaza Healing Court because of supporters like you. So please overstand, understand, and understand on this lion, lion. Lion Gay Lion 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 Gay Lion 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 on this lion gate, you guys, I found out the most fucked up news. TikTok shut me down permanently because of my last violation. So if you like to see me live, 
you're going have to you're going to have to sign up with my backup page not confusing that with my second backup page which is Zem Yaza Healing Core Toet Temple of Elite Trust and Truth May this lion 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 I don't believe they permanently took my shit. May the gods, may the gods write what they wrong to me because all them violations were off. I'm violated from my second page for talking to my soul tribe family in the dark. Talking about the fucking thunder. They violated me for being in the dark, laying in my bed, talking about the thunder with my followers. All right. All right. I heard TikTok was racist, but... Y'all making me think, yo, and I'm the type of person who likes to keep an open mind, but I'm, I'm sitting here as someone who feeds the nation and don't tear it down with this TikTok high velocity, high views programming. I'm not a high level programmer, so I shouldn't get as much shade as I get here on TikTok. And I purposely independent recorded this shit because this shit is going on all of my platforms. It's cool. On this lion, 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 lion. I like that shit. Get a a a. You guys, I want you to have an amazing day. Um, I also wanted to say quickly: do not let the blocks, do not let the haters. Do not let the naysayers, do not let the bad luck, do not let the crosses, do not let the curses, do not let the dumb ass, dead ass motherfucking karmics from holding you back or settling you the fuck down. I need for you, my souls, to all my souls, don't forget to sign up with our backup backup page, Zemyaza Healing Core, Toet. Temple of Elite Truth, <laughs> Blistic Fire, and Cosmic Trust. On some old real shit, I need my Soul Tribe family to support because now we literally have to start all over again. I know, I know. Right now, right in, I, I hear someone in the background saying, Ishera, you have a backup page. Soul Healer Therapist. Bitch, I'm banned from that one till I think next week, my nigga. Like, come the fuck on. Listen, when you are a renegade like me, you can never have too many pages. I'm not being like those motherfuckers where they shut me down and then I have to start all over. No. We run in a couple of pages. I know who the fuck I am. I know how many people I aggravate, okay? I got fucking kill orders on my ass, bitch. In three different fucking galaxies. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Three different galaxies. I got contract kills on me. I know who the fuck I am. Anyway, you guys, we got to start all over assist us with the information to not 
stop being matriculated and fed. I just started a, na a Native American Indian group where I'm going to be teaching a collective group for a certain amount of money. If you have a problem with it costing something, then this is not for you. But in the process and in the middle of building the retreat and also looking for in another another new location to live for me and my son, and also making sure that the new private group of my intergalactic nation of reconnective indigenous Native Americans, and where I'll be teaching a small collective, either you guys through Zoom or, um, or, um, Barnyard, barn, it, barnyard. It's going to be a video app where I can be, I can speak and I can congregate with all of my Native Americans from around the world. I do not want to restrict, just like my ministry, I do not want to restrict um, how far I can reach with the Native Americans that want to come together in this private class. It is a class. You would be teaching, you would be learning how to utilize spiritual indigenous magic and how to communicate with not only your own Native American tribes, but Native American tribes that want to work with you. Like I said, one of the first stories will be in the private session and the price won't be too crazy. It'll be something economical. So where as many people I feel, but to be honest with you, I have a certain number in my head of how many people that I would feel comfortable teaching. And this is only a triple digit. I won't go past a triple digit, but if we can go lower than a triple digit, then we're good. Because I want the groups to be intimate. And I have a lot to share and I have a lot of experience, working experience, that will assist any and all who want to tap into their indigenous Native American connections. I've dealt with three different nations, no, four, my, my teacher when I was younger who taught me about sound and color he was um, Native American also. And through him as like a foster father, I gained some of his Cherokee information. You know what I mean? So please understand that um, Native American tribes goes deeper than color, goes deeper than race. It is an unseen thing. It is a nature thing. It is a feeling thing. And I received an upload long time ago from many positive energies as the energy whisperer I am. I speak to babies. I speak to trees. I speak to inanimate objects. I also speak to animals and also dead people. <laughs> yes dead people. And what I've learned in my meta practice, temple and school, is that being an Indian is in here. And you realize that when you have dead Indians trying to speak with you, trying to work with you, giving you information that can actually help you. It was three different nation, Indian nations, that helped me get my land. And I promised them, yeah, I'm about to cry. I'm a cry baby too, you guys. And I promised them years ago when they assisted me with purchasing of the land that was raped and pillaged from my indigenous bloodline family years and years ago. We've come to realize as a collective that this group is going to assist us in completing what we started before getting the idea to create this, not only group, but class. The group is going to be free. The class is going to cost. We're going to start the group in the live sessions. This is why I explained to say, once Zemyaza Healing Core Toet reaches a thousand, 
the first meeting will be the Native American meetings because I want to bounce off ideas because this is a new baby, this is a new birth, and I spirit of many tribes have told me, speak to the people. I need to talk to the people. So the only way I can talk to you guys is once I get a thousand, we can have a live conversation with everyone. Everybody's ideas coming through. Questions and answers regarding the live videos, when are they going to be played, and also the private classes, okay? Um, I would say the private classes will most likely be opening up first of the month of next year because I don't like to do anything half-assed, but the group will be ongoing, ongoing. You know, we're going to be getting the information from the group and we're going to be building from there. So on this Lion Gate portal, what I've noticed as a, as a dark goddess is that I lost some wars because, you guys, I did not expect TikTok to, for me to find out through TikTok today that they have completely permanently banned me from Dark Goddess 99. So I can't go live anymore. I don't know how that happened, but it did. But with that being said, you know, when that happened, it killed me and I cried. I did, I did cry today. I cried, Lionsgate, 8, 8, 20, 22. Time now. 